Gabe Rosado, aka the American Derek Chisora, I think he's got 16 losses now on his record. Um, he's set to fight Gilberto Ramirez in what should be a run out for Gilberto Ramirez. March 18th, uh, the zone, zone card somewhere, um, location yet to be announced, I believe, or yet to be finalized, or maybe I just haven't come across it. So Gilberto Ramirez, in his last time out, lost the unanimous decision to Dimitri Bivol in a fairly uneventful fight, to be honest with you. Um, I wasn't too impressed with Gilberto Ramirez in that fight. I do believe that he can fight to a lot higher standard than he did in that fight. But it's all good saying that once the ship has sailed, you know, it's too late now. Who cares how good he can fight? He had his chance to do it on the night and he let everyone down. I mean, I originally, I don't know if you guys saw my video, but I thought it might have been a draw. That's how even I thought the fight might be. Maybe, uh, yeah, I got that one way wrong. And I'll say I wasn't impressed with Gilberto Ramirez or his output. I do believe he's he's a much better boxer than what he showed on that night. And someone like Gabe Rosado is probably going to give him the perfect opportunity to at least uh, get some credibility back. I mean, people are going to look, I mean, if you're not a boxing fan, you're going to look at Gabe Rosado's uh, resume and his losses and you're going to say, oh, he's just a pushover job. But he really isn't. I mean, didn't he arguably beat Danny Jacobs like a couple of years ago? He, the good thing about him is he's always in the fights and he always makes it competitive. I, I believe he beat Martin Murray as well, but I think he got robbed there. So he's always there or thereabouts, a bit like Chisora. Arguably, Chisora has won quite a few fights that people had him losing, but that's just the way it is at this stage. He's a journeyman, just like Rosado. And Rosado's, what, 37 now, so he's probably in it for his last few paydays. I'd imagine the zone are having to put uh, quite a bit of money behind it to, to get Rosado to take that fight because there's a massive difference in size. People always say that Gilberto Ramirez could be a cruiserweight, and then you got Gabe Rosado coming up from 160. So there's going to be a bit of disparity in size. Um, I expect it to be an interesting fight while it lasts. I do think that Gilberto Ramirez will stop Gabe Rosado um, probably in the second half of the fight. I can't see Rosado winning under any circumstances. Not even Puncher's chance. I think that the weight differential is too big. So even if he lands clean on Gilberto's chin, he probably won't knock him out, which is an ignorant statement to make because anyone can get knocked out. But I just don't see it personally. So there's no way Gabe Rosado wins. I hope he's getting paid good for it because he's going to get the crap bean out of him. Maybe his last fight. Depends on how badly he gets stopped. It's not a fight that I'll be watching live. I will not be staying up for it. Um, I will not be signing up for the zone just to get access to it, put it that way. Um, but I will seek out highlights online. Uh, I'm, that, that's where my interest basically stops for this fight. I will check out the highlights. Maybe I'll do a video about how the fight went. But you're not going to get me staying up to watch it. It's not that big of a draw for me. Uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> not for me thank you but yeah if you want to do if you do stay up uh, by all means you do you uh, it's not for me i think gilberto ramirez will come for it fairly easily no scratches no scaves uh but then where does he go from there i think that's going to be his problem he's had his chance at the top uh, uh what do you do after that i personally would like to see him in there with someone like anthony yard or maybe even joshua Boatsy. That's another thing. What's going on with Watsi? It just feels like his whole, whole career is stalled. He's always injured or not fighting. He's been out of the ring for like a year now or whatever it is. Uh, he's out of contract apparently. He was floating around BT Studios the other night for the Anthony Yard fight. Apparently he's a free agent. Um, I heard that Matchroom have got matching rights on him. But surely at this stage of his career, Boatsy must know that Matchroom isn't the place for him. They've had him the same amount of time that Frank Warren has had Anthony Yard. Anthony Yard has had two to old title shots. Closest um, Boatsy's ever got is conversations potentially with a, like rumours of a potential fight with Bivol. But where is that? I'm sure Bivol is looking to fight soon. And uh, just sure Boatsy is looking to fight soon as well. So why can't they get that on? I don't know if Matchroom are going to deliver for him. I think it'd be a right move for him to move elsewhere. He hasn't got long left in his career. He's underachieved by miles. His profile is low. And I think the only way he's going to rectify that is to go to another promoter and fight someone like an Anthony Yard or even a Dan Aziz on Sky. That would help, that would do wonders for his profile. That's his issue. Like no one knows who he is. He lives in America. He's off the grid. Like no one sees him. He doesn't do any social media. I just think that everything about his career hasn't been great until this point, and he's got a chance to salvage it with the right moves in his career right now. So hopefully he'll make the right moves uh, and get to a promoter that will put him at the forefront and uh, back him properly because I don't think that's been happening right now and hopefully getting a title shot. Alright guys, that's all I got for this one. Like, comment, share and subscribe or don't and I'll catch you on the next one. Love.